Hi, welcome to the build of my uh, Chevy COE. Um, I put a thing up asking if people would be interested in vlogging they're doing the build. So here goes, I'll show you around it, uh, see what you think and let me know. So this is where we are at the moment. We've ledged a cab onto the chassis that we're going to be using. That's an Iveco daily chassis. Um, the cab, we're not sure particularly on the year at the moment. We know it's between a 47 and a 51. Um, but it's not in too bad of a state. It does want a little bit of work. We're going to try and leave the patina. But possibly take some of the dents out of it. Just to neaten it up a little bit more. Um, this door is probably... I don't know if you can see it very well. The worst part, really. Um, it's going to take a bit of work sorting this door. It's also damaged the hinge. But I'm sure we can do that. But actual condition of the cab itself isn't that bad. I mean, it's taken a while to find one. I've looked at a few. Um, Obviously, I don't know how good the video is going to be at the moment because of the sun, unfortunately. But as you can see, I say the actual condition of it isn't that bad. There's a couple of splits we need to look at, but you get the idea. This will be and become a recovery truck. Um, we've had a quick measure from the back of the bed to the rear wheels. Bear in mind, there's some stuff on it. We've got about 16 foot, so. By the time I put a beaver on it, it'll be about a 20 foot bed. But yeah, it should be good. We're going to go uh, Mercedes 60, OM605 uh, with some big stacks. We've got some other bits and pieces that we'll go through as we go. But yeah, I'll uh, do a bit more on the cab and uh, edit the video up. So I just whipped the bonnet off quickly so you can have a quick look at how much room we've actually got to play with and where we're at I mean at the moment the cab is literally just sat on the suspension arms we need to lift it up a bit to give us some more clearance as you can see there's not a huge amount of room between the uh, cab and the front grille but I'm sure we can squeeze in about 400 horsepower, I'm sure, somewhere along the lines. 